Hello. Today I want to talk about testing NFC on an iPhone. Um, it's important to test NFC on pre-repair and post-repair because NFC is tied very closely with Apple Pay. So if the NFC doesn't work, the customer's Apple Pay will not work. Now if you take a phone in for repair and you don't test NFC before repair, um, and then you do say a simple screen repair, if that customer gets it back and their app, Apple Pay doesn't work, then you're effectively going to be liable for it. So it's a nice, quick, easy test, and for me, it's important that it's done for each phone. So to do this, we need a couple of things. We need rewritable NFC tags. This is the version that my guys use. It's a key ring version. It's quite rugged. Um, they come in lots of different shapes and forms. As long as it's a rewritable NFC tag, you should be fine. You need an app. So the app I use is called NFC Tag Writer by NXP. It's available on Android as well. I think it's called NF NFC Tools. Um, and this is used to write data to the tag. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Uh, go to New. And you can see you can store lots of different data on the uh, NFC tag. For the purpose of just testing an iPhone, we're going to go with uh, just simple URL, URL link. Uh, we're going to change custom URL to HTTP. And we're just going to go with Google.com. Nice and simple. There we go. Save and write. Save and write. Hold your iPhone near a writable NFC tag. So we're going to... One second, I've got to hold it quicker. There we go. Write NDF message successful. And then the second one, just to show you it's not a fluke. So now both of these NFC tags have got google.com on them so if they show up to a phone it's going to ask you to take to to go to google.com so i've got a freshly repaired 11 pro max um it's just restored activated it's got no data on it nfc tag there you go you see at the top open google.com in safari there we go just to prove it's not a fluke i'll get the second one there so that's using nfc to read that tag so by doing that test you're confirming that the NFC function works, uh, so in turn the Apple Pay function should work without issue.